How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Yeah. How do you feel today? Yeah. How do I feel today? I think it's a it's a great turning point and it's a mem like it's a historical event to see the human rights activists being able to to see the result or like the progress of a development of a country, especially when it's a, like at the right time of a jubilee ceremony. Okay. Thank you. How do you feel today? Mm. Exciting. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I have not faced ATA day, but I am very excited today. Yes, because that, that is the first experience of Moya too. Yes, so I'm very excited. What I want you... to know. I want to listen the topic of topic and sharing session. A very interesting. Yes. Yes. What do you hope will happen to Myanmar in the next twelve months? What changes would you like to see in the next twelve months? Mm -hmm. Changes. I want to change, especially I want to get democracy because everybody wants to get it and I really want to help this recess. Yes. Can you uh, briefly introduce yourself, your name and what do you do? Yes, my name. Do you use in your media? That's me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. My name is Mei Chou Hei. Yes, Mei Chou Hei. What do you do? I'm a social worker. Yes, uh, I'm. I'm very. I'm a trainer in social media. Yes. Okay. How do you feel today? Um. Yeah, I'm. I just came here as an observer. Um. Of course, this is historical landmark, and then I am happy to see you know this kind of events in this new transitional phase. And then in the past, we would not be able to do that. Uh, your name and uh, briefly, um, what do you do? My name is Kay and I am a student. How do you feel today? Mm, exciting and, uh, you know, be a little sad for uh, our last time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is your name and uh, uh, name briefly, is, what do you do? Yeah, my name is Tumor. My background is media. And uh, now I, I do an uh, uh, organizer for uh, social uh, and political training in in our Myanmar. Yeah. Okay, how do you feel today? Um, I feel sad and I feel hopeful at the same time. I feel sad because I remember all of the people, the young and, and elder women and monks, students who sacrificed their lives for the past 25 years for this country's democracy and many of them died in, on the street, in prison, in the jungle and I, I, I just wish that they were, they could be here with us today. I'm sure their spirits are, are around, around us but it would have been better if we had all of them with us today. But I'm hopeful at the same time. It's because, well, before I get into the hopeful, I'm also sad it took 25 years, one whole generation, for our country, our people's struggle, to be able to see our country take the first step on the democracy, first step on the path to democracy. Meaning, we have a, a still a long, long way to go. It's still just a very opening that now, it, you know, the current um, reform process, the atmosphere, the, or the political landscape allow us to start to talk freely how we want to uh, build this country on the foundation of the democracy. So. For that, I am hopeful. I am hopeful, even though I'm sad it took 25 years to get to that first step towards the path to democracy. I am hopeful, at least this, seeing the, the, the ray of hope, that there is a space for us now to really talk about the differences in, in this country, to really to, to talk about the, the need for genuine peace and national reconciliation, the need to really work for the substantial, meaningful, genuine democracy with the people participation. So for that, I am also prepared. I have to be prepared myself 
for at least another 25 years. I'm not so sure I will still be alive, but I am prepared until as long as I, I can take in this life, I will take to to see the the genuine, you know, the, the, the true light of democracy shrine in our country, at least for the future generations. If you have one wish for Myanmar, something to change and happen in the next 12 months, what will it be? Oh gosh, there are so many things that I want to see change. So, but in next 12 months, I want to see, I want to see the current government in power open the space, genuine space for all the people of Burma, all the people of Myanmar, Burma, civil society, ethnic communities, political opposition, all of us to have a meaningful, meaningful role and participation in the current reform process that they are leading. Because so far the current reform process is a top-down, military government-led, but still we would like to see in the next 12 months, we want to see the government actually open the space for the people to participate. I think in that, if that happens, that would be a, that would be a significant benchmark of this reform getting into a substantial, genuine process, I would say. Um, my name is Kin Omar. I'm, uh, uh, I'm an activist, student activist. I, I was a student activist back in 1988. I actually, uh, I, I was a part of the organizing and uh, of the 1988 uh, people uprising for democracy.